Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. The release date of the highly anticipated Infinity Nikki is just around the corner and today on November 29th we got a sneak peek at what you can expect to see in this new fantasy open world game and oh my gosh is very exciting. So in this video I'm going to run you through the key moments of the developer's special program so you know what to expect when the game releases on December 5th and how to get your hands on some free gifts too. Trust me, you're not going to want to ignore these. Don't forget to like and also subscribe, but let's get started. So the showcase started with some updates on game development and in particular whether upon release day, players aka stylists will be able to create their very own homes. Well unfortunately this feature won't be available on release day but the team has assured us that it is underway and will be coming very soon. They did however share a sneak peek at what to expect from the decoration feature. They first showed us this gorgeous interior room and this is a stunning elegant themed living space with a huge variety of different furniture. I love all of the different elements here and the level of detail is spectacular. You can see it on things such as the patterns on the soft furnishings to the individual flowers and even that chandelier overhead is gorgeous. This screenshot alone made me very excited at the prospect of decorating this game but then they showed this exterior shot of the house and my jaw hit the floor. As you can see there is this stunning house surrounded by immaculate gardens. Honestly this is the perfect home for Nikki and the developers also said that the layout to the decor everything is fully customizable which is super exciting. We also know from the showcase that furniture can be brought back to the home from the outside world by using legal means so this may include maybe purchasing from a shop. I honestly don't know maybe they're being a little cryptic with this one but we'll have to wait and see. You may also be wondering where Nikki's home is set. Well it's actually set on a large immersive island which is very exciting and possibly unlocks lots of different other avenues that they could go down with for this particular home design idea. Aside from the update on the rune decor feature, other improvements will include the optimization of the game, including mobile compatibility, mobile controls and PC controller support. These will be able to be experienced on opening day, which is good news if you're a controller player. Daily wishes are daily challenges and some adjustments have been made to these as well, particularly the wording to make them a little bit easier to understand. There is also a progress tracker as well that they have added. The outfit evolution system has also had a change to make things easier. Previously to upgrade the outfits you needed to collect three sets of the same outfit to unlock stage three. You will now just need to collect one additional set and to unlock stage one and two you will need to collect renaissance time to earn heart shines from the deep echoes. So this is very exciting. It looks like they wanted to make progression a little bit easier which is always an advantage. So those are the key updates that they gave us. The next thing is also very exciting because this is a whole new map. So this new area is called the Wishing Woods and we've previously seen snippets of this area but the developers have given us a bit of a deep dive into what you can expect from this whole area and who lives there. As you expect from the name of the area, this is a forest themed section, but this isn't any old forest. It has a strong mythical, almost dreamlike vibe to the area. The Wishing Woods is the home of the Fey Wish Sprites, and they enjoy a life here coexisting with the forest. There are a few distinct areas that create the Wishing Woods, and these are the Wish Pass Office, the Valley, the Inspection Center, Timmy's Beauty Lab, the Swordsmith Ruins, the Land of Starfall, the Bizarre Wish Hills, the Osora Valley, and the Grand Mille Wish Tree. That's a lot of areas <laughs> in this one whole section. The Grand Mele Wish Tree is probably the most important as this is the home of the Fey Wish Sprites and it is divided into different areas such as the Ancient Temple, a clinic and even a sports field. There is a whole bunch of other things as well. So within this giant tree it's kind of like a community living together, almost like a village living up there which is such an amazing idea. If you've been following the game closely you may already be familiar with the Fey Wish but we learned that this whole area will allow you to get to know them on a 
deeper level. The Feywish also have the unique ability to draw power from wishes of others, which is kind of how they live. They extract the wishes from the wishing items like paper cranes and transform them into wishing orbs. There is a special inspection center on the map, which is where the wishes are checked and packed. There is even an area to cook them in. The Fae Spirits have different types of jobs as well and they are determined by the hats and the colours that they wear. You may also find some lazy sprites, just chilling. Aside from the Fae Wishes, you will also uncover new collectibles in this area, including the common Glimmer Grass and the special Kronos Tree which will produce soul fruit during the day and stellar fruit during the night. The shells of these fruit are used by the Fae Wish to craft wishing orbs. New bugs in this area will include the mask wing and the manny beetle and there are also some new animals too. These include the crowned parrot, the hooded owl, the reef doe and the crowned deer. The area is also home to a legendary creature called the dawn fox which is a stunning white and yellow fox which is very afraid of humans but thankfully Momo is not human and in order to interact with the fox you will require a special ability outfit. The outfit is called the starlet burst and you will need this to interact. And this outfit allows Nikki to shrink down and ride on top of Momo. You may have seen this in the trailer where Nikki is on Momo's head. That's what this outfit does. This will allow for further adventure as it's perfect for passing through smaller areas and using special features that only Momo can use such as a confetti cannon, climbing, and also just generally seeing the world from Momo's eyes. It must be a very different view down there. This new ability will come especially handy in one of the new trials and this one is at Timmy's Beauty Lab which we also saw in the trailer but we now have a little bit more information about this space. As you guessed it this area is a giant factory for creating perfumes, nail varnishes and other makeup items. In the lab you will be required to help fix things after everything has gone a little haywire and there will be new challenges such as avoiding the powder presses which you can jump over but warning they may get a little hot. This area looks like a lot of fun and I love the bright colours. The second trial in the woods has a darker tone to it and this is the Swordsmith Ruins and here we'll see other new challenges such as winds that can lift Nikki and Momo high into the air or maybe even blow them off course. There are also four new mini games in this area which are the Wishing Orb Express, Wish Ball, Doodle Palette and also the Squirrel Statue Dodge. These mechanics may look a little bit challenging but the developers have assured us that this will be an enjoyable experience for all and will even be suitable for those of you that are new to the action adventure style gameplay. So there we go, that is everything for the new world that they shared with us and I'm sure there'll be a lot more upon release but so far this world looks amazing. So we have already seen a beautiful new ability outfit, the style at first, but the showcase of Nikki's new outfits did not stop there. If you manage to complete the storyline up to chapter eight, you will unlock the sketch for the Wishful Arosa outfit. And once you've gathered all of the required materials, you'll be able to wear this Regal Garden inspired outfit. It even has a clock chess piece design, which is supposed to symbolize eternity. This one is truly gorgeous. There are also new time limited resonance outfits available. These are the five star blooming dreams outfit which comes with the ability to float and almost looks like an ethereal lavender flower fairy. I really adore the crown and the wings here. There is also the moment capture which has been inspired by a journalist and has more of a vintage style with the camera and the attached satchel book bag which is a nice feature. There is also the five star flutterstorm outfit which is a stunning gown and it looks like it's strongly been inspired by butterfly wings and you'll see lots of different butterfly details throughout this gown and the flowing colors outfit which is an adorable pastel outfit which comes with the special power that allows the player to draw graffiti or paint cute drawings in the area that's a really fun twist. We were also shown new permanent outfits. The first of these was the Fairy Tales one, which I think we've already seen before, but it is so gorgeous and has a beautiful full skirt with glistening crystals and gems. Very romantic, very pink. The blossoming stars, which reminded me of spring as it's got this gorgeous light green color and all the yellow flowers trailing down. 
There was also the whisper of the waves, which unsurprisingly looks like stunning waves that are kind of animated on the dress, which is very interesting. There is also the gorgeous embroidery patterns, which are also reminiscent of the sea. There was the crystal poems, which has been inspired by ice flowers. And this shorter dress does come with the new purification ability with it. And the tights have special gems on the legs, which looks like snowflakes, which are really nice. The soft glow from the translucent fabric is also absolutely stunning. There are also two new four star ability outfits. These are the Breezy Tea Time, which has been inspired by the Bowtie Cat, and this is for animal grooming. It also has gorgeous details such as the lace cats. The forest fluttering outfit has also been inspired by a young nature researcher. So it's got a gorgeous jar with the flower inside and the butterfly chest plate. This is going to be great for bug catching. They also showed off new outfits that will be available in the game store. There was a whole bunch of these, too many to talk on but they were absolutely beautiful as well the developers also ran over some items that can be attained for free firstly the pre-registration milestone reward which has these gorgeous red wings and it's adorned with stars so beautiful there are also outfits that are obtained by trading due of inspiration and they showed off the star wish echoes outfit which is another beautiful nice muted blue style I loved looking at all of these outfits. It's so hard to pick a favorite. They're all so beautiful. So if you have one, please let me know in the comments. We also got to see a sneak peek at the upcoming events which will be available in the game and they come jam-packed with lots of rewards. There are two new events to start with which comes in two parts, one for release and one will become a permanent login event for newcomers. Under the Asylus start event, those who log in for seven days will receive 20 resonite crystals. And for the Flora Wish event, this is a time limited one where if you log in for seven days again, during the event you'll receive 20 revelation crystals Crystals. Another time limited event is the Wishfield Journal which involves completing tasks and you'll be able to earn travel insights and for completion you will earn 10 resonite crystals, 8 revelation crystals and also an exclusive stylist card background. The Path to Greatness event is also time limited and you'll be awarded for completing daily wishes and if you reach a required amount you'll receive 18 resonite crystals. Players can also customize and share their stylus cards in game and if you do this you'll receive 80 diamonds. And because Nikki's birthday is not long after release there is a special Nikki birthday event on December 6th. If you log into the game on December 6th you'll receive rewards including an outfit inspired by Wimstars and also a photo pose. It looks like there'll be so many things to kind of kickstart our journey in the game and they didn't even stop there with the goodies like if that wasn't enough. The developers also provided us with a code which if used before December 19th will allow for 126 draws with the 20 revelation crystals that you'll be gifted so make a note of this code write it down put it on a sticky note do not lose it because this is very important and it'll be a lot of fun to get those draws done straight away. So there we have it, that is everything that the showcase kind of taught us, all the big things. I'm very excited for this release, I hope you are too. Let me know if you're going to be playing in the comments and I'll see you again soon with another video. Have a great rest of your day, bye bye!